Hi everybody, uh, I just had an idea for a video. Uh, we had a huge, like, huge freezing rainstorm last night, and the trees all got covered in ice. It's like a crystal ice wonderland out there. So I thought I'd take you on a winter, uh, end of winter, uh, beginning of spring. Just a week ago, it was like plus 10, and we were having some warm days, and me and Tristan even had a fire. Maybe I'll throw in a little clip of the fire. That we do, 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 do. It's a fire in February. It's from like a week ago, and then bam, we had this ice storm. So, and there's a bunch of fallen tree branches, and broken branches on the ground that I'm gonna have to go around and clean, but it looked really beautiful. Uh, I love the look of the trees when they're covered in ice. So yeah, come with me outside. I'm just gonna put my, my coat and stuff on and then... Uh... All right, so we had a lot of uh, freezing rain last night and everything is like glazed in ice, as you can see. But what's kind of scary about it is like, look at that, holy shit. I mean, like, I hope you guys can tell how big those branches are because, like, that's the car. And then, boom. Look at all these, like, oh. I'm glad nothing hit the house, though. I was pretty lucky, so. Jeepers. Everything is covered in ice. So here we're under a lilac bush, and as you can see, it's just covered from head to toe, all the way up there in ice. I mean, it looks pretty neat, but I don't like the damages that it caused to some of the trees. So this is an area of the yard that I guess because it was sheltered, it did not get ice. But then we turn this way and it's like, boom! That's not snow, people. That's like, that's like frozen ice. Wow. Uh, this is a Rose of Sharon. Um, it almost looks like it's glowing because the ice on it, eh? I think it looks really pretty. I loved, even when I was a little kid growing up as a child, I loved when the trees would get covered in ice. I just think it looks so neat. I don't know how the plants feel about it though. <laughs> All right, and where me and where me and Tristan live, uh, there's a big field, and like, look at this, boom! That's all my garden plants. Like I got, cause I got them planted all in a row, right beside the property line, and like, it's like normal. Iceland! This is called a chaste tree, or um, common, it's more common name is a uh, vitex. And it's super pretty in the summer. These are like, it's uh, flower buds that have, are seed pods now. Uh, also encased in a thick layer of ice. Uh, but yeah, Vitex, it gets like a purpley blue flower and uh, those are the seed pods. Um, and yeah, it's just glazed in the ice. Oh, and then this is the, the Tri Beach, which I hope it's okay from this. Cause I mean like, look, the owl. I don't know if you can tell or not, but he's encased in ice too. Like all of this is in ice. That's a little uh, metal uh, cage I put around the, uh, the Tri Beach just to keep rabbits away. And look at all the ice on it. Oh, none of the branches broke, so that's good. I mean, look at how much ice. And for scale there, I mean like that one little drip is like as big as my finger. 
Oh. <laughs> And then this, this buddy here is uh, Acer Pseudoplatinus. And same kind of thing, it got, look at that. I think that, that looks so cool with all the little icicles. But yes, the tree itself is also all covered in this ice and, ooh. No broken branches here though, at least. And then this uh, buddy here is a cherry tree. So, woo got a lot of ice all over it everything's just glazed but it's starting to melt now and it's later today it's even supposed to get up to like almost plus 10 so it all it's I can hear it melting that's good and then uh, right behind me there that's a Nootka uh, uh, a Camisiparus Nootka tensis uh, or just a Nootka for short it's uh, got a cool little weeping drooping habit and yeah, it got covered nice too, but no damage there at least, so spring's just around the corner. All right, and then I thought I'd start with my foot there, just for scale. So this is an Austrian pine, and you don't seldom see it in its crystal form. And I mean, this is not a huge tree, but it's about eight feet tall. Uh, and yeah, it's just encased in ice from head to toe and I mean whoo. hope it'll be all right there eh huh that's an icy tree all right so this is the edge of the garden bed and right here uh what looks like just a bunch of ice <laughs> is uh three different types of sea buckthorn I got uh Two different types of females and one male because uh, they're not like self uh, fertilizing so you need a uh, male and female so whoa look at that winter wonderland or what eh but I, I feel actually very happy and optimistic about this because even though there was some damages um, you know spring is right around the corner and you know like if we had this kind of ice storm at the beginning of winter, I might not have been so optimistic about it, but you know, spring flowers are soon. So good to take in the last uh, bit of the beauty of winter. And here we have some ornamental grass, which even the grass, I was pretty surprised that it didn't, uh, it didn't tip over. All right. Isn't that pretty cool? It's like a yellow encased in ice. So, yeah, neat. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little video there. I'll end with the, look at these branches. Those are like 10 meters long. Like they're like at least two or three times the length of the car. And I don't want to stand under here too long just in case more branches break or something. So, but it is starting to melt now. So that's good at least. Um, yeah, if you like this video, give me a, a thumbs up there. Uh, and leave me some comments uh, what are some of your favorite types of plants? Uh, thinking about spring and summer. Uh, flowers, flowering trees. Uh, up to you, like what's your favorite? Oh my goodness. That's a huge branch. Oh. I'm gonna need Tristan's help to carry this. <laughs> Did you know that Google makes a phone? Not, not me! I've only ever heard of Dallas and Bell. Flip phone? Oh, I still use a landline! Alright, so it's actually it's a few days later and all the ice and stuff has melted, but Tristan's home, so I thought I would uh, show you guys for scale. So there's, there is quite a bit of these fallen branches. Ah, well, you can see up there where the, the branch broke, the big one there. So, yep, that's the maple tree got a hit. I don't know if you can see from here or not, but the, the apple tree and the mulberry too. So let's go have a closer look at that. All right, and as you can see, the apple tree, that's like almost 50% of it, right? Like, if I look at the, the trunk there, like, 
so. But once me and Tristan clean, clean it up and do some trimming, it will look still fine. There's still lots of tree left, but oh, it's just, it's, it was quite shocking, I gotta say. That was quite the ice storm. And then over here is the mulberry tree. And I mean, look at that. Hey, you Tristan, point again, yeah? See? Like, look how long that fucking branch is. That friggin' branch. Oh. But, yeah, um, thanks for watching. And I just thought I'd share the update on the, the trees there. And this is the mulberry tree. Oh, look at that branch. How, that's where it snapped there. It's quite a big branch, but there's still lots of tree left at least. And, and that'll be firewood. Okay, Taylor, brace yourself because this one, uh, this one is the biggest one of them all. So, here we go. It's, that's where the break was, and it snapped. It snapped there. And there's Tristan for scale. And it's that uh, the tree actually fell onto another tree, so it's like, ah. Uh, but yeah, that'll be lots of firewood. We're gonna have to be interested. We're just talking about how we're gonna cut these up because the reciprocating saw might not be enough so might have to get a heavy duty chainsaw but yeah that's gotta roll with the punches right